In this episode of Fix It Friday, we're going to get a little deeper in depth on our lithium ion batteries and our AC distribution and charging system. So this is the basic power plan layout for our Leopard 46. At the heart of our system, we have our inverter slash charger. It takes the power in from the grid or in from solar and distributes it either to the battery system for storage or back out to the boat's loads such as the air conditioning or anything that's plugged in AC wise. And to see what the inverter is doing we have what we call a color control unit which is basically just a little TV that tells us what the unit is doing, where it's sending the power to, and it allows us to program the unit as well. So let's start off by talking about our storage system. This is where we put our power to store it and in our case we're using a lithium ion battery bank. So let's talk about the components of our battery storage system. In our particular setup we're using four modules. Each module consists of two batteries which are just butted together. Each battery has 12 cells. Each cell is a nominal 3.4 volts per cell which gives you 40 volts minimum or 4.2 maximum for 50.4 volts maximum. But more on all that later. Let's talk about the individual components of each battery. Controlling our batteries charging and discharging is what we call a BMS or battery management system. What it does is it ties one positive lead to the top of each individual cell controlling the charge and discharge of the battery as a whole unit. Now coming off the positive side of each individual battery, again two in this module, we move over to our combiner where it takes the positive of both batteries and combines them into one wire which then goes out to our battery bank. Now in between that are two individual 40 amp fuses. That way if there's a problem with one battery in the bank, it'll pop the fuse isolating it from the rest of the bank allowing the rest of the batteries to function normally. Now we have our grounds. They go out to our BMS's which can shut them down and then they go through a combiner as well and out to the house's bus bar. This is what the batteries look like installed. Like I said we have four modules, eight batteries. This makes up our bank. We have upper and lower selector switches so that we can isolate our modules individually should the need arise. So what we have now, we took out the old system and you saw that in the previous video and everybody's been asking me to explain a little bit more about what we've done. Um, so basically what we have is this is our Victron inverter. It's a Quattro 48 volt, 5000 watt, 70 amp, which my boat only pulls 60 max so we're good there. Down here, these are our incoming, positive and negative. Those are coming from the lithium ion banks outside. We have a breaker, obviously in line, and then this is my charge converter. So basically what I did is I took a solar converter and it's taking the 48 volts from the um, lithium ion bank and it's transferring it over to the 12 volts, which I have one small battery on the other side and then of course we have our two starting batteries and those are just makeup. But basically this just keeps feeding that system and it's capable of feeding it upwards of 50 amps. Um, these are our distribution blocks and then of course our fuses for that and our quick uh, disconnect. So that's about it in a nutshell. Now we've got this guy up here. This is our 150 60 amp and basically what that's going to do is we're going to mount that down here. As you can see here I've already run the wire for the alternator and we've got the wires over here for the uh, solar. So this will be our solar controller um, basically it's going to take our 48 volts or anything else that's uh, higher voltage to charge our batteries and that's going to feed our battery bank uh, and help keep it charged when the generator's not running or we're not on shore power. Well I hope this sheds a little more light on the subject and frees up a lot of the questions you have. But if you have any more, drop us a line down in the comments. Here's a list of what we used not including wire and obviously labor and each system will be a little bit different depending on your boat setup and how you want to run it. Our boat uses a 
transfer over so we're running a 110 system now instead of a 220 and basically all we do is transfer over to our 60 amp uh, switch over which is the way the factory made the boat to work on the generator so if you like this video don't forget to give us a thumbs up and if you want to see more just click the subscribe button join us next time as we build a computer to run the boat Basically, it's going to be a Plex Media Center with Navionics touchscreen all built in for under $500. See you next time.